we'll be getting in a little bit after the choir will come, uh, Miles Choir will come in front.
time in this place. This time we have a prayer by Woody Parham and the scripture reading by Joseph Brewer. Lord,
Harlem. We are ecstatic and we are thankful because we are blessed. Amen. There is one life, there is one faith, there is one hope, and there is one God of Ephesians 4. And we thank God for the body of believers. So whenever you call us, know that we will be here. Amen. And we come to praise, we come to exalt, and we come to glorify the Lord. Yeah. And we come to God.
give offerings unto him. Amen? Amen. 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 And here we must understand that every time you come into a church house, the church is looking for you to see what you're going to do for God Amen. for the church. Amen. And every time you give, God is going to outgive you. Amen? Amen. He's going to outgive you. Somebody say, well, well I, I, I know. Well, you're not in the hospital now. You don't have to pay any bills right now. God is out giving you already. Let's give, let's give praise for that. Let's give praise for that. Somebody's car is still running good, but you're not going to go to the, the other race. God is giving you good. So we will give as the officers come to share. Give as God has given you. Amen. Praise the word. Our men and women stay, and we have already know what we are going through. We are going to be starting with a hot plate and putting it in hot plate. If there's somebody you need to come to, so let's go and share that.
your pastor does for me. Yeah. And you need to know. Every single day, I get up in the morning and the Lord leads me to some kind of prayer and some kind of scripture. And I give people the scripture of the day. And I can say it every day, every time I sit out scripture of the day. This prayer always responds with an amen. And hope you have a good day in Jesus' name. Give God a praise for that. Yeah. You sometimes say, you preaching now. You need, you need to stop this out. You preaching now, Robert. But I thank you for being a good friend. I ask that you will have his way in this sermon that we will hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Amen. So after the selection by the Gethsemane Mass Choir, the next voice you will hear is none other than Pastor Bruce Collins! Give him the praise! Give him the glory! Give him the
God bless you. Please exit. Put your hands together. Come on. Take out Jesus. Come on. Take out the Lord. Come on. Turn that back up. Give me the praise of the Lord. Come on. Turn that back up here. Come on. The praise of the Lord. How many of you know that God got a blessing to put your hands on you? Come on. Come on. Come on. Everybody.
This is the day that the Lord has made. The scripture says, let us rejoice and let us be glad. And ain't y'all so glad that we have had an opportunity once again to be in the house of the Lord, realizing and understanding had it not been for Jesus. None of us would be here this evening. Amen. How many of you are really truly love Jesus? Trust. Now wave your hands in the air. Wave them back and forth. Like you just don't care. You've got a mind. Get yourself lost in Christ. Oh yeah, This is for me. Do you believe in love? Oh, no. 
stepped in. He showed me another way in him that he may be able to get the glory. That he may be able to get the honor. And that he may be able to get the praise. And I don't know, my God, who's been actually redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. But I'm reminded of the scripture where God said that the redeemed of the Lord say so. So if you've been redeemed by the Lord, give them one big radical shout. I said, come on, give them a radical shout. He's a trooper. He allows you to get up this morning. He allows you to start on your way. He gave me a good mindset to come out to the house of prayer, the house of worship, to give him honor, to give him glory. He gave you clothes on your back, shoes on your feet, food on your plate, transportation to get here. Surely if God did all that, surely you can open up your mouth and give God some redemption back for So I'm going 
going to always be happy. I don't care what's going on in my God. And he reminded me of myself in that sense by the grace of God. I want to also uh, give honor by the grace of God to all of these preachers that are here on tonight. Amen. Minister Clarence, by the grace of God. Minister Clinton, amen. If there's any other ministers in the house, amen. I want to just honor you guys too. And I also want to give uh, an honor and thanks, amen, to the officers of this church, amen, by the grace of God, and to all of the officers of the Southern Christian Church, by the grace of God, amen. And I also want to thank the seminary for coming out tonight, amen, and it's so good. So come on, give yourself a round of applause. Thank you guys for coming and supporting the ministry. Of God, and I can't forget my sweetie pie, amen, my cream, and my coffee. I'm going to get a little bit of God, amen. Y'all got to come on. The queen, the queen of my house, amen, by the grace of God. She runs the house, amen, by the grace of God. Y'all come on, come on. I said she runs the house. But I run the house. Amen. Y'all come on, y'all come on. 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 Y'all come on, come on. Y'all come on, Anybody come through the door, amen, that, would, that I wouldn't expect it. They're going to get something. Amen, amen, amen. And I believe there's going to be some fire. Somebody say amen. Y'all come on, amen. It's my job to protect. It's her job to keep the palace in shape on the inside. Somebody say amen. By the grace of God. My queen, amen. Thank God for you. By the grace of God. And my mama. My dear mama. Everywhere I go, everything I do, my mom is there. Somebody say amen. 82 years old, three strokes later, and she's still singing in the choir. Somebody say amen. Amen. Don't tell me what God can do now. Y'all want to come off. Some of us get our toast stuff and everything. We can't make it to church. I got the word that this trouble go down, man. This trouble hurt. Somebody say amen. But how many of you know? Amen. Nothing ever gonna separate some of us from the love of God. Amen. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus. I come right now, dear God, with humble hearts and dear God, bow down to the throne of the living God. Asking for you, dear God, to create an atmosphere that's settled and ready to hear the word of God. I know not, dear God, what to say, but what the Holy Ghost tells me to say. I don't apologize for the words that are coming out of my mouth, Lord. Because I know it's coming from you. So use me, dear God, as you see fit. In every which way, dear God. Knowing and understanding, dear God, that this is your program. The church is your business. You run it the way you set it up. When I say it upon this rock, I will build my church. And the gates of hell should not prevail against it. Now said in the word of God, given unto some, not all, but some, prophets, evangelists, apostles, pastors and teachers, for the edifying of the body of Christ. That they won't be no more children tossed to and fro to every wind of doctrine. So Father, right now, Give out the right doctrine. For those of them that have an ear to hear what the Spirit of God has to say unto the churches, dear God. And let these men and women, on oh, men and women day, dear God, be edified from on high. Let them know, dear God, that greater is he that is in them than he that is in this world. That they must walk by faith and not by sight. Let them know, dear God, to seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto them. Pray, dear God, at the end of the day, when it's all said and done, that we will bow down before your throne, knowing that we're not worthy to even lift our head up to see thee. 
humbling ourselves and submitting ourselves to thy name, dying in holy righteousness. That you may be pleased. That you may be praised. That you may be honored. And that you may be glorified. We ask all this in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray. Let your heart say amen. And amen. And amen. Give God one more big praise. Amen. Let us thank the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. But it's mainly Hebrew, amen. And if you will, uh, we, we, 
we understand that the, the, the New Testament was written in Greek. So in order to really truly get a full understanding of the word of God, we have to go to the original language because the Western uh, and Meridian, uh, uh, Meridian, if you will, amen, amen, they don't quite, amen, if you will, uh, give you the definition from my God, the word of the living God. So if you want to know really what the word of God truly means, to stop from putting your own imagination on the word. Or man's imagination. You need to go to the original language. If you really want to know. Now if you really want to know a lot. Somebody come on talk to me. You go to a man. Uh, but if you really want to know what God said the Lord, you go back to the original language and it's going to tell you the content of the word. Somebody got to come on talk back to me. I'm going to talk back like type of preachers. I can't stand in silence when, when the word of God is really going on. Can I get a witness over there? Because it just makes it seem like, my God, I'm all by myself. And I, and I know, my God, there's a born again of Christians up in this area. Up in this house here on tonight. I know that I'm not the only one that's been born again by the Spirit of the living God. I'm not the only one that's been regenerated and renewed, my God, in the mind. Can I get a witness up in here? Amen. Actually, means that I agree with thus said the word of God. Can I get a witness up in here, sir? Anything that's dead, my God, it needs to be buried. Anything that's too conservative for God can't be used, my God. We need to get loose and let loose it. Let mouths go in. Uh, 
Are y'all hear what I'm saying? My God, there's, there's, there's nothing like a man being a man. My God, and he missing something. Can I, can I get a witness up there? See, there's a lot of uh, men that call themselves men. My God. But, but, but a lot of them are missing something. Can I get a witness up there? Uh, a lot of them is missing, if you will, the breath of life. He said that God went into the nostrils of the man, and the man became a living soul. I didn't say dead soul, I said a living soul. Can I get a witness up in here? And, and, and let's all know, my God, that when God made man in his image and after his likeness, he didn't make him, my God, all by himself. Can I get a witness up in here? See, see, this is how it go, my God. God the Father thinks of man. Somebody look at your name and say, God, thank you. Uh, Jesus turn around, watch this here, and he speaks it. Somebody said Jesus speaks it. Because he's the word. Amen. And the Holy Ghost, my God, fashions things together. That's the spirit of the living God. So as God thinks Jesus speaks and the Holy Ghost make it happen. Can I get a witness up in there? And I want y'all to understand, my God, that when God made man in his image, he put his own breath in the man, and man became a living soul. But hold up, my God, hold up, my God. The Bible said that God said, it's not good. Oh, it's not good that man be alone. Can I get a witness up in here? But I'm going to create, create unto him a help me. That when I made him, my God, I made him rely on some help. When I made man, I made him, my God, with the understanding that he was going to need some help. I, I, don't, I don't know what's, what's wrong with him, man. But I, I said, my God, uh, a man is not complete without some help. Can, can I get a witness? Can I get a witness of that? And so God said, my God, let me go ahead and put man in a deep sleep. Oh, we going somewhere. Can I get a witness of we, we just we just get started on the runway. Can I get a witness up there? And sooner or later, amen, we're going to begin to take off, my God, and take altitude. Can I get a witness of that? And after that, we're going to land this thing real easy. Somebody say amen, amen. So, so God said, I'm going to make it, but I'm going to make it, my God, needing help. I'm going to make him, but I'm going to make him need help. If he didn't need help, then he would have needed to help me. So when God made him, he made him with a need. We, this is men and women there, right? We do got men and women in the house of God. Can I get a witness up in there? So God said, what I'm going to do, my God, because, my God, I know you're going to need some help. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to put him in a deep sleep. Because, see, I know he already going to sin. Somebody needs to talk back to me. I, I already know, my God, that he's going to sin. And then if he get too crazy, then he's going to want to become a doctor, my God, and try to say that he made somebody himself. So what I got to do, I got to put him to sleep. See, it can't be just no regular sleep. See, y'all, y'all, y'all got to come on talk back to me today. I, I, I'm telling y'all right now, y'all know good God Almighty, because I know I'm doing some preaching here on this evening. I, I'm gonna put him in a deep sleep. He puts an extra on that. Can I get a witness over there? Because, because, because I, I gotta put him in a deep sleep because I know man will try to claim everything. Can I get a witness up in there? I know he'll try to make everything and try to claim what he did, did how he did, did, when he did, did, and this, that, and the other, whatever. So I'm going to put him in a deep sleep so that he can't take credit for me making this work. But I can't, I, I, but I can't make the woman, watch this here, out of the same substance that I made him out of. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my God, if you will, a rib from his side for her to be by his side. Can I get 
Brother Brother Zabel. Now, now for her to be in front, this is being a woman there. Because there's some women like to step out in front, my God. Can, 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 can I please do it? My God, my God, some women like to step out in front, my God, and just do their own thing. But see, God didn't create you like that. He created you to be an assistant to your husband. That's what help means in the original Hebrew way. It means to assist, my God. My God, the things that he is inadequate at, the things that he can't do, that's why he created you. He, he mixed you up with the substance, my God, to be able to help him, my God, and be by his side. Not, not leave him to him. Somebody say amen. Uh, the, head of, the head of man is God. The head of every woman is man. Can I get a witness up in there? Uh, he didn't make woman the head. He made other body. Because the head houses all of the five senses. And when you get born again, my God, you get a sixth sense. That's called the head of can I get a hold of this man? He said, what God did? He said, I'm going to make him, my God. He said, he took the rib, my God. He formed a woman, my God. And then, and then after the, uh, Adam woke up, he said, whoa, man. Oh, 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 oh. Y'all might want to get here with me today, my God. He said, whoa, man. Oh, 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 oh. Can, can, can I get a hold of this man? My God, I don't know. What, what is this that God had made for me? Oh. See the zebras, my God, and they got made, my God. I, I, I see, if you will, the elephant, they got made, my God. My God, I, I see, my God, in the, in the God, my God, that everything got to make except me. But, the, but when God made this thing, when I woke up, my God, I had to say, whoa, my. I, I don't know what that little mind was all about. But, it, but I think all of y'all got an imagination. Just, just use it just for a minute. Can I get a witness up in here? Uh, it was a woe to him, my God, because the woman was fine. In his eyes. Somebody say amen. Amen. And, and, and the Bible said, my sister, that God himself took the woman and he walked to the man. And that's why, my God, when you get married, the father bring down the bride. Y'all need to get this thing with that. Can I get a witness up there? And so where am I going? Where am I going? God started out, my God, with man and woman ready the earth. Right. They were put in the earth to manage it. Somebody say amen. 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 They were put in the earth, my God, to run, my God, God's kingdom in this earth. Yes. Right. And so when man and woman, my God, get together, my God, in the Lord, Telling you, God will show up and show out. Somebody say amen. And so here we have in the scriptures, my God, uh, according to Acts 1, uh, the Bible tells us uh, that, that the Lord, uh, that Peter uh, had to stand up uh, uh, because there was 11 uh, apostles at the time. Uh, and then all of a sudden in Acts 1, uh, we find uh, in the word of God that they were all amongst one another. Uh, and then the Bible said that Peter stood up, my God, and he said uh, in the word, my God, brother, man. Uh, and then he said, watch this here, and all of the women, yes. including Mary, my God, the mother of Jesus. He said the number of us, my God, that is in the room uh, is 120. Uh, are y'all here with me? My God, and, and, and so and so he wanted us to know, uh, uh, Walter, uh, priest, that, 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 that there's 120 of us, yeah. my God, if you will, uh, my God, in the upper room. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can I get a witness over here? Yeah. And so then he goes on to tell us, my God, in the word, my God, as we get over into Acts number 2, watch, watch, watch this thing here, my God, uh, he, he says in the word, and when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. Are uh, y'all here with me right now? My God, who was in the room? Mm -hmm. uh, it was men and women. 
I'm trying to get a witness up in here. Uh, when I look at the word accord in the original Hebrew language, watch what it means here. It means uh, uh, unanimously with one accord with one mind. Watch this here. Watch this here. Here it is. You got a hundred and twenty people, my God, in one room. Uh, but, 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 the, but, the, but the Hebrew language tells us of a core, my God. They was with one core and with one mind. My God, you can't get two people together. Of the opposite sex. In a room together. Unless they can. And they got something to say to one another. From a negative perspective. How is it that you can get 120 people in the, in the upper room, my God, my God, men and women, and, but the Bible tells me, my God, they were on one floor, watch this here, in one place. Oh, I hope I'm going to get this thing here. Can I get a witness over there? Can you imagine, my God, being on the same accord? When I thought about the law, when I thought about what God said in Philippians 2 and 5, can I, can I, can I, can I get it? The Bible says in the King James Version, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. And then, my God, it goes on to tell us in the Amplified Bible, let this attitude, there it is. Somebody come on, talk back to me. And purpose and humble mind be in you, which was which was also in Christ Jesus. So, so, so that lets me know, my God, because I just saw my own case. Can I get a witness over there? That let me know that the way they were able to be on the same accord, they were, they what? They all had the mind of Christ. Somebody say amen. And see, when you have the mind of Christ, my God, I'm telling you right now, something is about to happen. Somebody look at your neighbor, my God, and say something is about to happen. Which leads me to my first perspective, my God. When men and women are on one accord, my first perspective. When men and women are on one accord and in the Lord. Somebody say in the Lord. That's a formula for suddenly, for a suddenly success. I said that's the formula yeah. for a suddenly success. Yeah. Somebody said, well, Pastor, why do you say suddenly? Huh? I say suddenly because suddenly in the, in the Greek language means unaware. In other words, unexpectedly. Okay, can, can, can I get a witness over there? And see, when you are on the same accord as men and women, my God, suddenly, unexpectedly, and unawarely, the next thing you know, you're, in, you're walking in success. I need God's people to get with me. Can I get a witness over there? I said, see, see, when you are on the same accord, yeah. in the same place, my God, my God, all of a sudden, my God, a sudden thing is going to come upon you. Yeah. Can I get a witness over here? See, 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 you got to understand some things, my God. They were already set up for success because they were on a one accord. Somebody say amen. Which means that there was nobody in the room uh -huh. huh? that was in the uh, disagreement. Can I get a witness over here? Even in the house of God, you can't even sit down and have a productive meeting. Without somebody disagreeing. Now, I'm going pass out. I don't think that, you know, this day, that, no. The problem is, is you thinking, and I got vision. Can I get a witness over there? Because when there is no vision, I thought uh, the people would perish. Can I get a witness up in here? And so I want you to understand, my God, I, I, I want you to think. Uh, uh, don't get me wrong, brothers and sisters. I want you to think, my God, but I want you to think on how we can fulfill this vision that God has given unto us. So, somebody say amen. And, and, and the reason why they were so successful, somebody said successful, huh? uh, is because, watch this here, they were on, if you will, you know, watch this here, the same accord. Can I get a witness up in here? Listen to the text, my God. Listen to the text. The Bible says, my God, after that, my God, on one accord into one place, it said, and suddenly. Somebody look at your neighbor and say, and suddenly. Uh, 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 
what, what's the success, my God? It, 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 this going to happen because it didn't happen, my God, until they got on one accord. It didn't happen, my God, until they got on the same mindset that Christ had. It did not happen, my God, until the, 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 the Holy Ghost didn't come, my God, until they all, they, all their minds was made up. See, ain't nothing gonna happen, my God, with you men and women, my God, who is of the upper room, my God, until you get on the same accord with the mindset of Christ. See, you need the mindset of Christ if you want to be successful in doing kingdom work. Can I get a witness up in here? Your mind can't be open to God when God gave the church a vision through the man of the living God. Because when God gives man, my God, a vision, that's a heavenly mandate upon him. And see, he got to fulfill the vision, even if the people don't get with him or not. Can I get a witness up in here? And I want y'all to know today, my God, that there's going to be a sudden success in your life. This is the word of God. It says, and suddenly there came. Somebody said, there came. What came? Did it? A sound. Uh, but look at where the sound came from. The sound came from heaven. So, somebody gonna talk back to me today. Uh, it, 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 it didn't come, my God, from a man. Uh, it didn't come from anything on the earth. It didn't come from my God from any joke blow. Can I get a witness up in here? I said the sound first started in heaven. Are y'all here with me today? I believe in the text, my God, it tells us in Acts 1 and 8, he said, I'm going to give unto you some power after which the Holy Ghost has come upon you. I'm going to give you some goodness power after that which the Holy Ghost has come upon you. Uh, and you're going to be witnesses unto me uh, in Jerusalem, uh, in Judea, and in, the, uh, in Samaria, and the uttermost parts of the world. Can I get a witness up in here? And so that prophecy, once this here, that was told by the minor prophet Joel in Joel 2, verse 28 and 29, where God said, I'm going to pour out my spirit upon, upon, all, upon all your sons and your daughters, and they shall prophesy. Somebody say amen. My God, my God. God fulfilled that prophecy, if you will, in Acts 2. Y'all need to be shouting right there by the grace of God. So the text that we're looking at right now is, is, is fulfillment text. Can I get a witness up in here? See, when something suddenly happens, my God, there's going to be a sound. And y'all don't understand where I'm coming from, my God. I said, when God do something suddenly in your life, whereby you're unaware of it, huh, it's going to sound off the broad. Somebody gonna say, my God, what, what, what you talking about, preacher? I'm talking about when God blesses you. You ain't gonna have to say nothing. You can just be driving it. Can I get a witness up in there? My God, when God blesses you, and everybody think that all the blessings of God is all spiritual. Yes, they're spiritual too, and they're materialistic as well. Can I get a witness up in there? I believe, my God, that, he, that, that Elijah got blessed. Can I get a witness up in here? I believe that Abraham got blessed. Oh, y'all got to say that, my God. Went into a country, my God, and, 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 and the king kicked him out and told him to go on and let him have the mules and let him have all the cattle. My God, let him have the silver and the gold that I gave him. You just need to get up out of here. Somebody say, somebody say amen. Oh, that's material. Am I right about it? I believe that his son Isaac too also was a very rich man. Somebody say amen. Amen. God gave him oxen. God gave him camels. God gave him silver. God gave him gold. Can I get a good witness up in here? So I'm just telling you today, my God, suddenly, unaware, my God, God is going to have you in it. But see, if you don't see yourself going that way, God can't help you. Oh, y'all don't need to understand where I'm coming from. See, you, all you got to do is stay on one accord. And, and watch this here. And be in the room. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. See, y'all in the room right now. But, but I don't know how many of y'all are on the same. 
before I leave. Ain't God alright? The Bible tells me that Jesus gave us the ghost. Ain't God alright? How do I know that? He gave up the ghost. Good God Almighty. As he was up on Calvary's heel. Oh, 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 get up. Ain't God alright? The Bible says that before he gave up the ghost, it is finished. Well, what was finished? Good God Almighty, what was finished is the fact that now you have access to the Father through Jesus Christ. And that's the gift of salvation through Jesus. Ain't God alright? Let's go. 
easily tells us, is there any sick among you? He tells you to come unto the elders. And they shall anoint you with oil. Somebody say amen. Is there anybody? The Bible even tells us in the Great Commission, and these signs shall follow you. Mark 16 and 15, you ain't got to sit here and, and take my word. Uh, they shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. That's the word of God. See, I have enough faith to believe in the whole Bible. Some people don't believe in miracles. But I believe in miracles. Anybody else? Come and sit on this front bench. Glory to the living God. I feel the power of the Holy Spirit resonating in this place. Is there anybody else? Is there anybody else? Glory to the living God. Father God, in the name of Jesus, whatever is dear God plaguing this man, which is your man, I'm right now by the power of the Holy Ghost rebuking anything that come up against the standard of the Holy Divine Word.
some of y'all gonna get this spiritually. Because a lot of y'all are sick. But you don't have enough faith in belief in God's word to keep you from the doctor. Y'all ought to know now about the big pharma. Pharmaceutical companies. The big pharma. He know a lot of people. Everybody going to get their prescription. It's medicine. Why? When you want to take man's medicine over God's medicine. Listen to this. Witchcraft have potions. Let me go I said witchcraft has potions. And pharmaceutical, the word pharma means witchcraft. Yeah. If you got me on Facebook, thanks a lot. By the grace of God, for somebody can get saved. Come to the scriptures of the Lord. Amen. Yeah. And, 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 and the drug yeah. is designed to keep you coming back. Jesus came for the sick. And he has the power and the authority to heal you. Watch this here. Watch this here, dog. Every other commercial, I don't care what you're looking at, what channel, there's a drug commercial. Just watch it one day. And they pushing this dope yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. in our neighborhoods. Oh, right. But the difference is, it's legal. Oh, right. oh, man. And the ones that do it illegal, they got a place that's called prison. Oh, Y'all see the system? Yeah. Right. But I don't want to have nothing. Listen to this here. When you take this here, the side of the face is suicidal thoughts. Kittens get weak. Somebody can listen to me. Amen. Su suicidal thoughts that leads to suicide. Kittens shut down. Having the runs. Somebody say amen. Oh, amen. Stomach cramps. Oh, Lack of sleep. Oh, I hope y'all get this here. Alright. But it's gone. Watch this here. What drugs do, watch this here. It goes to the problem. And all it does is put a mask on it. And it numbing the nerve that is giving you pain, but the pain is still there. That's why. When the drug wear off, you gotta have another one. But see, when Jesus heals you, somebody say, I say, when Jesus heals you, see, you can't say, I'm gonna trust Jesus for the healing, but then go back and pop another pill. I'm telling you, the world is set up. Because Satan is the prince of it.
People are seriously hurt. But are you praying for them or praying against them? People are truly sick and tired. Accept that blessing. Accept that blessing. Accept that blessing. Accept that blessing. By faith. Accept that blessing. Accept that blessing. By faith. Glory to you. Y'all give God some praise and God some glory. And God some honor. That concludes my hour. My time is up. of the upper room. And when you are on one accord in the Lord, that's the formula for success. I'm successful. I'm successful. I'm going to act like it. I'm going to walk in it. I'm going to own it. I'm going to own businesses all over the world in the name of Jesus and can't nobody stop me because of whom I serve. For me and my house, we are going to serve the Lord. God gave this earth to us. Can I get a witness up in there? Act like it. And sit here and work with a man in 35, 40 years can barely stand up and don't want to work for yourself. It's time for us to start working for ourselves. What I mean by that, it's time for us to start being owners so that we can truly bless somebody. Somebody say amen.
came here as single. Well, I got my wife and daughter. Yeah. 
you prayer for him. He's in Madison right now as we pray for him. And God bring him through. Pray for the one who hit him. He's the strong. As you be in prayer for him. I ask you also as I go that you want to do last. That you pray for this nation and this city. And that you find a way to tell people about Jesus. And though they might out and tell them about Jesus. Now you don't know what to tell about Jesus. Now I saw before of you. One day I'm going to be coming over to yesterday to preach. I already prophesied. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And as some of y'all know, I am one who is opening the book of Revelation. I believe Revelation is being written by right now in these last days. It's a sign to talk about Revelation. I share with you the book of Revelation. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I show someone just today that there was a time when the book of Revelation was not even in the Bible for people that look like you. There's a Bible called the Slave Bible. And believe that God. They did not put the book of Revelation in that Bible. Right. It, it's there. And so I come to tell you, when you get a chance, read 1, 14, yes, sir. 22. Yes, sir. 1, 14, ah. 22. Yes, sir. May you be blessed. All right. Let's get down to it.
so much to me, but even more, it means so much to the kingdom of God. And I just want to, uh, for us to be a church that can be a blessing to another body. Amen. And that's the way that God intended for it to be. Uh, we want to be a blessing. Amen. In every which way that we possibly can. We appreciate, amen, Pastor Brown, the body of Christ. We appreciate you and your wife and your committee for inviting us over. Amen. We love you. And if you ever need us, just give us a call. And I heard it in the spirit. We're going to get you over and preach. Somebody say amen. amen. Somebody say amen. Amen. I want to uh, just uh, thank my long-term friend, my brother, from another mother, Deacon Arnie Williams, this guy. Now, come on. ever since I've been up in Rockford, Illinois. And we have been through a lot together. Amen. But there's nothing like having a best friend. I said best friend. That whatever you're doing positive, especially when it comes to the Lord, He's going to be right there by, the, by my side. And we went in the world together. Yeah. No, Boy, we did the world some stuff, didn't we? No, I know. Y'all hear me? You hear me? But man, look what God can do. I'm telling you right now. We both love Jesus. I thank you, man. Thank you, man. Yeah. Mr. Clint. All the way from Houston, Texas. Hey, man, come on now. He told me that he was going to be over here. Come on now. Another friend of mine. Hey, man, that man, I'm telling you, this guy right here can ball uh, and talk at the same time. Hey, man, but now look, my God, Jesus got his hand around him and he's a man of God. So let's thank God for him as well. Amen. Hey, you my brother. And I appreciate you. We worked at Comhead together. Amen. And I'm telling y'all right now, that's a good man right there. Alright? We thank God for you, man. Alright, keep giving God the praise and glory. And keep serving. Amen. God the grace of God. Amen. God be with you. Both now and forever, let us all sing. 